Hello everybody, this is a Lamley Showcase going back to Hot Wheels today and going Ford Trucks. This is the brand new Ford Truck Series that is available now at U.S. Walmarts. If you live in other countries, you've probably seen this, maybe even for a couple months. In your local store, but here in the U.S., it is at Walmart, and these are hitting right now. An eight-car set found by a friend of mine at Walmart. I'm appreciative of that. We're going to walk through these right now. We've seen these eight-car sets. We've seen the Mopar and the Chevy Truck Series already. Um, there's always a signature model. In the Chevy Truck Series, it was the Silverado. In the Mopar, it was the Power Wagon. So what is the signature model in this set? Well, let's go through all eight and then let's talk all right so we're going to start with number one it is the 65 ford ranchero there's the back of the card you can see that there's this if you want that and let's just get right to it this might just be the signature model how pretty is this in gold with the steely wheels we've seen uh the ranchero before it's an underrated casting from hot wheels and if you notice matchbox has already done one as well this year so you got that nice stock one. These are very, very similar. Matchbox has the bed open. Hot Wheels has the exposed engine and the uh, the closed bed. Very typical for the for both brands. But both of these are gorgeous. And this gold one, oh my goodness. How good does it look with the Steelys? How cool does it look in gold? Understated. I've wanted to see this one as a super treasure hunt. This one might be just as good because these basic Steelys are super cool. And I just love love how they've done this one so that may be the signature one to be perfectly honest i think it looks really really good so off to a nice start number one of eight number two if i can get that focus of eight is another very cool ford truck it is the 79 ford truck in black with a very 70s deco on it kind of a dull five spoke wheel as well i like this one too I like these classic 70s era uh, Ford trucks. This is actually based on this casting here. We've seen this one has a bed. It was in a Ford series. There we go. It was in a Ford series not too long ago with another 70s deco. So I saved that one with the bed. The bed's kind of goofy looking and it's kind of a simple black, but it looks cool. And then we've seen it as a uh, Walmart truck. This was Sam Walton's truck that was... Oh, out, oh, I don't know how long ago, um, at Walmart. And then very similar, I think this is a similar casting. This was in entertainment. We've also seen in car culture, uh, this truck with the equipment on the back. So all of the 70s there, I'm trying to see if the grill is the same. I think it is. Yeah, pretty sure it is. So we've seen several versions of this truck. This one has the bed and a nice deco. So that is a winner as well. Number three of eight. Now we go, eh. That's the 41 Ford pickup. I like the 41 Ford. This one's a little bit too tuned for me. So I think there's better options for this one. The 41 Ford pickup in orange. Deco's fine. You can tell I'm not really into this one. I don't even know when the last time we saw that casting was. I guess that's kind of cool that we've seen some of these castings return, but... That is about it. All right, number four of eight. This one might be considered the signature model because it is the Ford Bronco 4x4. And the thing about it, like the Power Wagon, we've barely seen it. We've only seen it a couple times. It made its debut. We've had a Bronco before, but this newer casting made its debut in Boulevard back in, I think, 2013. Nice looking Bronco there. And then I think we've seen it in entertain, no, pop culture. And so this is the first time. And yes, it has a metal base. So if it's the metal base that gets you going, this one has it. And they've put it in this basic range, the Ford Bronco. So not too fond of the wheels. Would have preferred some other, maybe even the large five spokes. But it looks okay. The mint green is okay. Not real keen on the deco, but um, it is kind of cool to see. This model in this set, speaking of Bronco, we now have the custom Ford Bronco in red. There was that Ford Bronco that was released in entertainment um, not too long ago um, from Zoolander, right? We've never seen that casting since. I know it's a premium one, but I would have rather see that one than this one. This casting's cool in that Baja style, but not really 
my cup of tea. All right, Sand Blaster. Now what's interesting about this one is we've seen this casting modified. This uh, roll bar in the back has been molded into the body, but this one, I think maybe because these come from, yeah, these come from Thailand, so they're using an older mold. So this is the, I think the original uh, Sand Blaster with the plastic roll bar in the front. This is actually based on the Ford Raptor. I would have probably had a Ford Raptor instead, but you know what? That's what these series are. Some old, some new, some cool, some not as cool. Um, here's another one that hasn't been seen a lot. Number seven of eight, the 29 Ford pickup. My friend said the, this one tended to be picked it up. He didn't see as many of these as, um, as he did the others. So it is kind of cool to have a classic, classic 20s era vehicle in the series. And this one is well done. Um, so looks kind of cool and green, a nice addition. There's just some other ones that kind of bum me out. So this one would have been nice with some better casting selections, I think. And then last but not least, number eight, it is the Ford F-150 from who knows what early two thousands, maybe. And okay. So some models that I'm like, yeah. Other models that I think are really cool. You want your signature model? I'll say it's either this metal Bronco or this just gorgeous Ranchero. So I'm going to say the Bronco because it's a metal base because that's what seems to get people going. What could have been in here? Well, the Bronco is cool. We've obviously seen this somewhat truck. You could have done this Bronco, which uh, we've only seen in premium. I guess you can't only do too many metal bases. You could have done... The Texas drive them. It goes by Texas drive them. But if you look at that tail, that says Ford on it. That's a Ford truck. If you would have put that one in there, I think you would have had a frenzy for that truck because it typically goes premium. Or dare you go with the peg warmer of the year, the Econoline pickup. I love this Econoline, but it's sadly just been such a peg warmer. And uh, maybe more on that later because it is a fantastic fantastic casting all right there you go those are the four trucks tell me what you think down below in the comments you've seen my opinion tell me what you think is the best model what's the signature model what one are you going to pick up you tell me what you'd get thanks everybody bye